Hello everyone and welcome to my channel The Australian Coin Collector. If you are new here, this channel focuses on everything coin collecting, numismatics and precious metal related. So if you are interested in any of that, feel free to like and subscribe. Anyway, today we'll be talking about these three coins and their values. These coins are commemorative silver florins. These are pre-decimal coins, so the coins that were used before decimalization and the current coins we use now. The system was a little different back then. Instead of cents and dollars, they use shillings, pounds, and pence. Anyway, a florin is worth two shillings. These three coins are silver and they each commemorate different things. Let's start with this one here. This is the 1927 Canberra florin. This was minted to commemorate the opening of the Australian Parliament House. Since then, the new Parliament House has opened up, so this one is now called the Old Parliament House. Now, one thing I really like about this coin is that it looks so detailed, yet so simple. Now, on the obverse of this coin, there is a portrait of King George V. It is actually a shortened version of the crowned and robed bust of him, facing left. I just recently found out what the lettering on the side of this coin means. It means George V, by the grace of God, King of all the British territories, Defender of Faith, Emperor of India. Then on the reverse, is a picture of the Parliament House with an oval frame, which is set above cross scepters. On the scepters is a raised oval with the date 1927 clearly shown. Then on the outside, it says Parliament House Australia, one florin. This coin, like all florins, has the weight of 11.31 grams and a diameter of 28.5 millimeters. This is one of the florins that are sterling silver meaning that it was com it is composed of 92.5% silver, giving it a silver content of 10.46175 grams. A total of 2 million of these were struck and were first issued on the 8th of May 1927, but a very small amount of 400 were proof coins. Those coins are now worth giant amounts of money and are extremely hard to find, but what are these normal coins worth? In the very worst condition, these coins would most likely be worth only silver condition, which at the current price, uh, price would be around $12.30. Though in better grades, they do carry quite a premium. In very fine, these are worth $20. Then in uh, extremely fine, these are worth $50. About uncirculated, they have a value of $100, and as the grades go up, the values go up, all the way to $900 for a gem uncirculated coin. Now these are catalogue values, so they might not necess necessarily be what they sell for. Then the next coin is this one here. This is the 1951 commemorative florin. This commemorates, uh, commemorates 50 years of federation, as the year of Australian federation was 1901. This coin is much less detailed than the last one in my opinion. The obverse shows a portrait of King George VI, and the lettering on the outside is the same as the Canberra Florin, except it is George VI instead of V, and the part with the Emperor of India has been taken out. On the reverse, there is a scepter and a sword crossed below a crown. Below that is the Federation Star with the stars of the Southern Cross around. For those that don't know, the Southern Cross is a constellation that you can see in the Southern Hemisphere and parts of the Northern Hemisphere. Then the text says, Australian Florin 1901 to 1951. Like the last Florin and all other Australian Florins, this has a weight of 11.31 grams and a diameter of 28.5 millimeters. But unlike the last coin, this coin is not sterling silver. Instead, this is only 50% silver, which gives it a silver content of 5.655 grams. Like the Canberra Florin, this one too has a mintage of 2 million. Now I'm going to tell you of this, uh, the value of this coin after, because the value of the next coin is pretty much the same. So lastly, we have this coin, the 1954 commemorative Florin. This one commemorates the royal visit of Queen Elizabeth in 1954 during her royal tour. The obverse of this coin shows Queen Elizabeth VII wearing a laurel. Fun fact, the effigy was only ever used on pre-decimal coins and was never used on decimal coins, or at least not on circulating decimal coins. 
Now, the lettering on the side reads Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, Queen Defender of the Faith. Now, what I find really interesting is how each monarch has one commemorative florin minted during their reign. Anyway, on the reverse, you can see a lion and a kangaroo standing together. This coin has the same specifications as the last coin, and is therefore also composed of 50% silver. The thing that sets this coin apart from the last two is its mintage. This coin has a mintage of 4 million, which is double the other two. Like the Canberra Florin, this, uh, there was also a proof version with a much smaller mintage that was produced. Now, let's talk about these uh, the value of these two circulating coins. These coins on the lower side of uh, the condition scale would be worth silver value, which right now is about $6.60. Like nearly any other coins, as the condition goes up, the price goes up as well. Once again, these are catalog values, so they might not necessarily be what they sell for. And very fine, these are worth um, $8. Then ex in extremely fine, they are worth $12. Almost uncirculated, they are worth $22, and in an uncirculated condition, $45. These prices go up until it hits the absolute top of the scale, with a gem uncirculated condition being worth $275. Once again, both of these coins have the same value according to the catalogue values. Altogether, I really like these three coins. It's a very nice set to have. Anyway, that is it for today. Um, I hope you've learned something or have been entertained while watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, um, it'd be really helpful if you liked and subscribed. Stay tuned for more videos on coin collecting and precious metals. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.